Well, it's now been 9,047 days since I left Sydney, Australia on foot to reach Sapienza, Italy. And I'm not going to lie, there was a second there where I thought I was never going to make it. But here I finally am. Oh, Sapienza, Italy. How I've missed you. Anyway, I was called out here by the ICA to take care of one target and one target only. And speak of the devil, there he is now. Legendary Italian actor Dino Bosco. Wanted on multiple counts of being a cheap made in China ripoff version of Marvel's Iron Man. And as always, I've brought a couple of toys with me to help me get the job done. I've got my ICA 19 Silver Baller MK2, my ICA Electrocution iPhone, a lethal poison vial, and over here in the basement of the gelato shop, I oh. Well, I was going to say over here in the basement of the gelato shop, I got Diana to leave me a little something something, but it looks like they've locked the door to the general public. That's not a problem though, I'll just need to find another way in. Speaking of another way in... Shh. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no vertebrae for you. Ciao, ciao. My name is Francesco. I work for Marvel Studios. Vaffanculo testa di cazzo. <laughs> Here I am, still completely incapable of going through the door. God damn it. Kill me now. Anyway, before I get on with the plotting and planning, I'm going to spend a little bit of time exploring. After all, the Sapienza of this mission is nothing like the Sapienza that I'm used to. Guess you're not used to talking to the opposite sex, but here's a hint. This is not I wish working. I was a man. <laughs> Yeah, that's another thing that I'm not used to. How did you know? So it looks like the main courtyard out the front of Silvio Caruso's mansion is being occupied by the film set. Then if I take a little bit of a stroll down the side streets towards the church, the church is closed. And if I run all the way back up here, I'm back at the gelato shop. Anyway, outside of the gelato shop, there's a little table set up for what I can only assume is a meet and greet. A meet and greet with an interactable water bottle, a gas lamp, a generator, and some extremely dangerous looking spotlights. And over here, there's a little bit of a souvenir stall, sadly with nothing that I can interact with, <laughs> except for a whole bunch of coins behind the counter. Do you mind? <laughs> Please behave and pick that up. <laughs> okay, sorry. I was just giving the blind guy some money. Anyway, seeing as I'm a member of the film crew, I can just walk straight on through here. And finally, I've got access to a door that opens. Don't patronize me. Yeah, I know he's my client. That's why I set up this Q&A, to give him some decent exposure, but he's being a jerk. Don't worry, lady. I'll take care of it. Oh, huh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> So I'm just going to take this meat cleaver here because I'm pretty sure I'll find a use for it later. And I'm going to borrow this kitchen knife right here, which I'm sure I'll also find a use for later. And if it's okay with everybody, I'm just going to help myself to one spoon of every flavor. And the fire extinguisher. <laughs> and the rat poison. Ooh, Bosco's tray. <laughs> Who left this here? I think this lady's low-key <laughs> trying to tell me to bump him off. Anyway, before doing anything else, I better head down into the basement to collect that little something-something that Diana left for me. And oh my gosh, even more rat poison. Cheese game, you try to tell me to open up an extermination business. Hold on, wait, what? <laughs> Don't I already have one of those? <laughs> oh no, more rat poison. God damn it, game, you're out of control. Well, certainly there's an ample supply of oil drums scattered about the place. If only I had a screwdriver. Hmm. Actually, hold on just a second. What the hell is this? Sh th this... This shop is not usually open. <laughs> this is a new shop. I'm desperate to get inside. Can I get inside? Oh, sh okay, never mind, sorry. I'm film crew. I thought we were brothers. I can only assume that the red shirts are the people responsible for the pyrotechnics. Oh. <laughs> Guess I got a job to do now. <laughs> there goes one. <laughs> there goes two. <laughs> there goes three. Yeah, well, this is not Hollywood. You can't come through here. Oh. Well, be that as it may, I'm sure you won't object to me climbing on Dino Bosco's trailer roof, will you now? <laughs> Doesn't let me in, but lets me climb on the roof of someone's trailer. Not a bad looking trailer if I do say so myself. <laughs> of course, it's got the obligatory plate of pasta on the table. A delightful statue of Beethoven. <laughs> a battle axe conveniently leaning against the wall. And a wardrobe that I can use to hide his dead body. And whilst that sounds like fun and everything, I'm still not quite ready yet to put the plan into motion. Right, so there's a bottle that I can poison right here. There's a laptop computer where I can enable manual debt. Oh. <laughs> Enable manual detonation. <laughs> that sounds fun. I guess in order to do that, I'm going to need to get rid of this guy. So how about I just put a, a little sprinkling of uh, rat poison in your water? <laughs> I don't know about you, but it's my favorite. No, answer me when I ask you a question. It's common goddamn courtesy. <laughs> what a beta male. <laughs> Can't wait to smoke that guy. Oh, you, <laughs> you drink it. <laughs> oh, well, I guess you'll have to do. Okay, so are you going to spew? Oh, you're a bin spewer, are you? <laughs> We don't really like bin spewers around here. No, no! Well, now that I'm the pyrotechnics guy, I guess I can just waltz right on up here and have a fiddle with the computer without anyone bothering me. Except this guy. Hey, I know you can hear me. I'm talking to you. Huh. It's 
also looking around the film set, I've got this thing right here, which I think is some kind of fire breathing contraption. Swap fuel. Missing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds like an explosively good time. So I guess what I want to do now is find myself some of that sweet, sweet high-octane fuel. And what better place to look for it than inside of the Pyrotechnic storeroom? <laughs> Wait, hold on just a second. Unlock fuel storage. I mean, there's every possibility that opening this crate with a crowbar is going to make me look sus. <laughs> but hey! yo, oh, God damn it. Shoot it up! Have to come look <laughs> oh, that guy's so hot, you son of a... <laughs> <laughs> it was nothing. I um, I dropped my meat cleaver in this puddle of blood. <laughs> yeah, I dropped it. Nah, it was nothing. <laughs> it was nothing. <laughs> now to get back to what I was doing. <laughs> Booyah. Hey, did the new fuel get here yet? Yeah, it arrived this morning. But it's strong stuff. I want to test it before I use it here on uh, Old Ed. Uh, why? Well, it's kind of cheap, but really powerful. <laughs> oh, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Set fire to everything around <laughs> it. Just keeps getting better. All right, so apparently all I need to do is come over here to this machine, swap the fuel tank with the, <laughs> with the high octane fuel that I stole from the crates. Let's help make Bosco's extravagant vision an inferno. You know, Diana, I usually tell you to shut the <laughs> but this time, <laughs> that makes me excited. I'm not asking much, just a freaking inferno. <laughs> Did you say freaking inferno? I think I can handle that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh no! Oh dear! <laughs> oh, 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 looks like I might have found the backstage area. Increase pressure to the air ramp. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm guessing that this is the air ramp right here. So if I'm able to really crank this thing up, I might be able to get him straight into this machine. So I'll tweak this ever so slightly. Okay, here we go. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god. So I'm thinking that with a little bit of sabotage, I might be able to widen that hole ever so- <laughs> Hold on, what did I just do? <laughs> All right, Dino, the cameras are rolling. Give the fans what they want. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, now this is exciting. A location that I haven't visited yet. Examine pyrotechnics manual. Real men don't read manuals. They just stare at them until the manual tells them what they want to know. And believe it or not, it worked. The manual told me that I need to head over here now. You've got to be kidding. Sorry, just wanted to grab this. <laughs> and thank you. All right, now I finally get to play with this doodah. Wait, if, if the mission story is completed, what? <laughs> What's the remote for? I mean, I didn't even know what it triggers. So technically, if I time it right, I can blow him out of the Earth's atmosphere moments after he jumps on the air ramp. Get the hell away! <laughs> Why is everyone so nasty to me? All right, here we go in three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> what the? F <laughs> Where did he go? Well, I've got absolutely no idea what wheels I've set in motion, but something's happening. Mr. Bosco is a very busy man, but of course he always has time for his fans. He'll be with you very shortly nice day to forward, answer any it? questions <laughs> you might have. Oh, this will be fun. Be civil. Thank you. Some fans are so ungrateful, but they are not real fans. I knew that he would come out here. Oh, hold on a second. Yeah, hold on. I'm just going to <laughs> loosen the gas lamp in front of everybody. Then I'll just um, throw a coin over there to get the security guard's attention. Oh no, somebody turned off the generator. God damn it. Now, as I always say, every war has casualties. I'm just going to get far enough away so I don't become one of them. Oh, wow. Ah, and I'll answer any question from a beautiful oh, woman. God. After I have a sip of water. Golf, 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 drink it all down, you dirty boy. Okay, this looks kind of promising as far as I know. <laughs> there aren't any trash cans down here. But come to think of it, there also aren't any toilets. Oh, you son... Hold, hold on. <laughs> well, Dino, you know, I got a message for you. And that message is to always stay hydrated. That's right, you dirty boy. I can't get a side profile look because you're inside of a porta potty. But you better drink it all up. You better not leave a single drop in that bag. Oh. Smashed his head into the urinal. <laughs> hey, Dino, it's your boy Agent 47 here. Just here to uh, to remind you to always stay hydrated. You, you're looking a little bit dehydro. I thought you might want to just drink some hydro. And I'll answer any question from a beautiful woman. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if that's what I look like to you, fair enough. Oh, you're already in the process of drink. Oh, God. 
Dino. Oh, well. See, that's what happens when you get, you, you know, you let yourself get a bit too dehydrated and then you hydrate. You fucking die. All right, so now that all of the story missions are taken care of, it's time to start getting creative. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. <laughs> so what I was planning on doing was sneaking through the front door of the trailer and filling it with propane tanks, but I guess I can put them in this way. <laughs> now to get myself inside, <laughs> I broke his pasta plate. <laughs> in he comes. Oh, shit. He hasn't noticed me yet. <laughs> well, I guess these are going to need to go into the other room. There's one. <laughs> There's the other one. And I'll just get you to stand right in the middle. Over this way a little bit more. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying you more than you're ever going to make from this shitty movie. <laughs> Welcome home, Dino. Not in the f- ah! Target down. <laughs> now, yeah, that's more like it. You should answer it, Dino. I think it's your mum. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a little bit like a rhino from behind, doesn't he? And now for my final trick, I'm going to do the whole thing again from scratch, silent assassin, suit only. So what I'm going to do is lockpick my way into the bottom of the gelato shop, then I'm going to sneak up to the next level and see if I can get myself a kitchen knife, not because I need one, but because I feel like it's <laughs> kind of the, the drama that puts the icing on the cake. Okay, I'm going to sneak through here real quiet, like grab this meat cleaver, which isn't the item that I wanted, but I'll take it anyway. Now I'm going to jump over here. Grab this kitchen knife, <laughs> which is the item that I wanted. <laughs> now I'm going to escape through here. Oh, shit. Now that that's taken care of, all that I need to do is get past the security guard on the other side of this door. Chuck that coin over there. He'll go to collect it. She'll turn the other way. Now I'll see if I can sneak up really quick. Oh, God, please nobody look this way. <laughs> go, go, go. I made it in. <laughs> now I'm going to jump inside of this wardrobe and wait patiently. <laughs> here he comes. <laughs> I honestly can't believe I've made it this far. Now remember, I can't let him see me, meaning that he's going to need to turn in the other direction before I pop out and say surprise. Here we go. And... Target down. Got him. Now to hide him in the wardrobe and <laughs> to make my great escape. Oh, steal his car keys as well so I can escape in that. But because this guard's back again, this is going to be a little bit tricky. So I'm thinking if I love the statue all the way over there, I can probably get his attention. There he goes. And onto the ladder. Go, 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 go. Come on, 47. You can do this, baby. And I have escaped into the night completely undetected. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you complete this mission. Silent assassin suit only, never getting caught, never getting detected, always staying erected.